going forward, the prices of fuel will either go up or go down in tandem with international oil price movements, as has always been the case. As you are aware, OPEC and Russia have been implementing crude production cuts. These have resulted in continual firming of prices since mid last year. I'm aware that the immediate reduction of excise duty has been taken by consumers to mean an immediate reduction in the pump prices of fuel as well. Obviously, some matters are bound to arise that will require a rectification to smoothen the transition from the old prices to the new ones I have announced in the beginning of this press conference. May all those affected bring these issues forward for consideration and befitting solutions by my ministry will be provided. In this regard, Zera shall be assisted by government to attend to genuine concerns attendant to the implementation of the reduction in excise duty. Let me end by advising all players in the fuel industry to adhere to the announced reduction in fuel prices and to pass this in full and on time to their customers. Let's remain an honest and ethical industry for the benefit of our country. <coughs> Before I conclude the issue of fuel, I want to give you some also very appetizing information to deal with, of course, power. I want to mention to you that the good news we have received today is that all the six units at Wange Power Station are generating today giving a total output of 661 megawatts. It's been years since we last heard such an output out of Wange. And the reason is mainly because Unit 6, which has not been functioning for quite some time, has been going the refurbishment and is now in full swing. So we're excited about this and we want to say to you all, thank you indeed for coming, thank you for your cooperation, and we shall always keep you abreast on developments affecting this ministry. May God bless you. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.